Hi everyone and welcome to my thank card. It's Friday. Today we'll be doing the Emerging Colours Technique card. Um, I know Carrie Cudney from Stampin' Up! has done this demonstration before on our Stampin' Up! Um, YouTube. So I'm going to do my version and I'm going to use this surfer from the Seaworthy stamp set. That's got the boats on it. And then I'm also going to use from the Extreme Elements um, some of the detail stuff. So the colours, I've referred to my colour coach, which I've never done. Um, and the colours I'm going to use are Night of Navy. And with Night of Navy, it says to use like pumpkin pie and cherry cobbler. And that's what I'm going to use with this colour combination. Okay, so just using some Whisper White cardstock, I'm going to stamp, going with that colour combination, using cherry cobbler for the feature in the middle. It's such a detailed stamp isn't it? And then pumpkin pie just with the stars and I'm just going to put that like that and with pool party I'm using this dotted element here and I'm just going to put that like that. Okay? Now Grabbing my Versamark and this big splotch stamp set. All right. Ink it up nice and good. I'm going to put the splotch. So that's sticky. I'm like that. This is my clear embossing powder. Just putting it all over the top. And if you can hear my kids in the background, it's school holidays. So you and my sac my son Saxon loves playing in the backyard and he gets very excited, you'll be able to hear him if you listen close enough. All right. So, I'm going to heat set that clear embossing powder. Now I just heat it on the back a little bit so it helps with the warping of the cardstock. Okay, now I'm going to grab a scratch piece of paper in my printer and I'm going to brayer, which is this handy dandy speedball tool and the Knight of Navy cards um, ink. Don't know... You probably have seen this done, this technique done in the past. So I'm just going to ink this up. And you roll and lift. And while you're doing that, it spins. And that's when you get a good coating. So you can see that was a nice clean roller. And now it is got a nice layer of ink on the ball. Okay, so I just want to color this cardstock in and grab some more ink and really juice it up like that okay then you just grab a tissue and slowly and carefully wipe away and you can see the ink underneath the clear you can see the images underneath that isn't that such a cool effect and 
I'm going to just rip it so you can really see how I've inked up that white cardstock with the not quite navy. So I'm just roughly ripping. There's no actual technique that I know of. All I do is I pull towards me There you go. So that's the focal point of my card. So I've got some not quite navy card stock and I've got Whisper White as a border. And what I'm going to do is using this spotted element and the pool party ink, I'm going to do some just random stamping. Just around that image like that. Okay, I'm going to dimensionalize that on that, but before I do, I'm going to put the snail on the Whisper White cardstock. Adhere that down to my not quite navy. Oh, and this is not of navy, sorry. Dimensionalize that in the middle. that down like that okay now I've got some Knight of Navy cardstock and I'm going to use from the look who's talking no, look who's turning stamp set the happy birthday sentiment from that because I really like that writing. Okay, just getting my Versamark ink. I'm going to stamp happy birthday. I'm going to emboss that in, heat emboss that in white. Give it a good flick. All right, I'm going to grab my modern label, cut out some punch out some cherry cobbler, grab my word window, that just fits in there, oh how good is that, I was a bit nervous that writing might be a bit big, but perfect, okay, so just clean up my desk, going to adhere that down. So blue on cherry, navy on cherry cobbler. That's a good combo actually. I'm just going to, should I pop that off the card? Actually I might put that and I might snip that. Like that. Coming out like that. Alright, now I just wasn't, I didn't feel like this is complete, so I've just grabbed the scrap from the um, cherry cobbler punch um, cardstock, and I've just got from the itty bitty punch pack this circle, this tiny, tiny circle, 
and I'm just going to punch out a couple of circles because I feel like this could do with a couple of elements just at the top. Just like that. So I'm going to adhere that down. Alright, so just adhering that down. Now I feel this card is finished. So this is the Emerging Colours Technique where you heat stamp the background on Whisper White. So I always stamp on a lighter cardstock and um, heat emboss with clear embossing powder and then inking it up with the brayer. I absolutely love this technique and I just couldn't wait to try it. So I hope you like my card and enjoy my thank card. It's Friday. Thank you for watching.